Hey YouTube, it's your girl Rachel and I'm coming by with a quick update on my tummy tuck procedure. It has been just a few days over four months. I can't believe that it's been four months since I've had this surgery. I just want to share with you guys my thoughts, a few updates, and was this really, really a good decision? So if you're interested, please stay tuned. As you guys know that I am probably considered a curvy girl and my measurements right now are 34, 29, 45. So prior to having this surgery, me purchasing jeans and pants was, was a struggle. And I would say right now it's even more <laughs> a struggle. So I've been able to find some jeans and pants in different places that actually fit this new waistline and the, the still same size hips. So it hasn't been too bad, but that's only one thing that's been a struggle as far as clothes go. Next, I will say, um, with this surgery, you're not quite healed for a rather long time, which can be discouraging. As far as pain, I don't experience any pain, but like I've said in previous videos, my stomach swells and the muscles, because I had muscle repair, are really really tight and from what I've read and talked with the plastic surgeon liposuction is actually if you watch videos on liposuction you'll see for yourself that it's rather a uh, it's a vigorous surgery that you know it's a lot of causes a lot of tension and tightness and soreness and all of that such so if you have a combination of both liposuction and tummy tuck abdominoplasty you will definitely be in recovery mode for a little bit longer than just someone that just had a tummy tuck so being that it's four months I'm definitely not the same as I was when I first had the surgery weeks after the surgery etc etc but um you will continue to deal with feeling uncomfortable throughout the day and that can be discouraging like seriously it can be discouraging but you have to look on the brighter side, you know, that you came through the surgery. And if you're happy with the results, I mean, nothing beats the results. And just hopefully your body will fully heal after a year. So basically, when I said, is this something that I'm really, really happy that I did? I will continue to say yes. Absolutely. Like, no freaking way. Like, when you have your bad days or your sad days or your down days, go back and look at a before picture. Like, when you look at the before pictures and look at yourself how you look now, please believe you're going to be like, oh, <laughs> however you were feeling at the moment will go away rather quickly. I mean, I know that there are some women out there that might have had a botched surgery or the surgery wasn't well done whatever the case may be and they might have to go in for a revision but please look at yourself how you were before and you're just going to be complete amazement and hopefully that six months to the year mark i will feel as like how i felt before just with a snatched waist <laughs> but it's been it's been ups and downs. I mean, complete ups and downs. I wore a bikini for the very first time this past Labor Day, and it was very uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable because I'm not used to having that much skin being seen. So it was very uncomfortable. I'll attach a few pictures. Like, I had this little sarong that I held on to. I wore the heck out that sarong. Finally, I took it off <laughs> because you can't get in the pool with a cover up or a sarong on. But after probably a few alcoholic drinks, I was good. And I was out with one of my really good friends, and she's very confident in herself. So her confidence kind of pushed onto me. And I didn't feel as insecure. You know, the stomach wasn't there. The rolls aren't there, you know. So, hey, I can wear a bikini too and look just as good as anybody else. So that was definitely life-changing. That was one of my life-changing moments. Because one of the things for me personally, like I didn't lose a whole bunch of weight. I didn't do anything like that before I had my surgery. And um, 
so I basically from the naked I mean not naked eye but from seeing from co-workers or friends or family that see me on a regular you can't visually look at me and say oh that chick has surgery or she lost a lot of weight or something 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 because I really did not look bad prior to this and I knew how to wore, wear clothes properly to fit my physique so now I mean I didn't have to buy a whole bunch of new clothes I mean some clothes of course like dresses they, they fit and they form your waist so much better and everything looks better but it wasn't like drastic but putting on that bikini or when I'm in my room with my bra and panties on or going to the gym and have my little bra top on that's hard too but I, I did that a few times <laughs> you know going to the gym like that then you can physically see it stomach flat waist snatched <laughs> One particular item that I have been wearing off and on going to the gym around the house is this band. I received this band months ago and it goes around your waist and it's like excellent, excellent support. And I, you know, suggest anybody that might have some sort of abdominal surgery, you know, to put something like this on. It's soft, it's durable, and you can pull it however tight that you want. So if you need some more compression, that's good. So I totally would recommend this band. I mean, I love the way it makes me feel because sometimes at the end of my day, I don't wear my compression band that the plastic surgeon gave me. I will put this band on because I feel, you know, kind of tight and just sore just a little bit or whatever and this totally helps out and when I go to sleep at night I'll put it on also so I can feel more comfortable and secure. I know eventually the tightness will go away once I'm completely healed. I know the soreness of my muscles will eventually go away also when I'm completely healed. I can't wait for that day. But if you're interested in one of these, I'll definitely put the link below. I There's also, um, I have a discount code, which is my name, Rachel. So use that whenever you go on the website. If you're interested in at least check it out and see what you think about it. But I will say it's awesome. And um, it definitely has helped during this whole process of me swelling, muscle sore, all of that stuff. So definitely please check it out. I do want to show, I guess, how I'm looking like, just so you can see me. Um, the scar, I'm not really concerned about the scar at all. I never was. I never cared about the scar. You can't see it. Yes, if you see me naked, you'll see it. I mean, I'm brown skin. It's brown, whatever, whatever. I mean, it's not like it's just like, ugh, it's so disgusting. I don't really care about it. It's not something that people will see. Yes, I see it, but it just reminds me of what I did to make myself look better, feel better, have more confidence, less insecurity, etc., etc. Even my scar is like from here, and it goes all the way down. to up here. I would like to say thank you guys for watching and please check me out soon on my next video. I'm not really sure what it's going to be about, when it's going to be up, but I wanted to give you an update on my surgery because a lot of people are interested, have been interested from the start when I said months and months ago that I was doing it and I was going for it. And I, again, appreciate all of your support, all the love, all the kind words that you that you guys have given. I really, truly do appreciate it. And again, I totally, 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 wholeheartedly, I'm so happy that I did this.